Hello, good morning, students. Today we are going to start our new chapter, metals and non-metals. First of all, let us see the position of this metal and non-metal in our matter classification. In ninth class, you have learned about the chemical classification of matter. Okay, matter is chemically classified into two types: pure substances and mixtures. Pure substances we can again classify into element and compound. Elements are of three types: metals, non-metals, and metalloids. So, metals and non-metals are coming under the classification of elements. Elements are coming under the classification of pure substances. So, metals and non-metals are type of pure substances which we can call as elements. Okay, moving on to the physical classification of metals and non-metals. Already in lower classes, you have learned so many properties of metals and non-metals. Let us quickly revise them. When you look at the properties of metals, metals have shiny appearance. Metals are lustrous. Metals have high density, means atoms are closely packed. Metals are good conductors of electricity. It is due to the presence of mobile electrons. Metals are ductile and malleable. They can be bent and stretched without breaking. Metals have high melting and boiling point due to strong forces of attraction in metallic bonding. Metals are strong and tough. Metals are good conductors of heat. And metals usually exist in solid state at room temperature. But we can say that there are so many exceptions for these general properties. For example, we say that metals are strong. They are, they are very strong. But sodium and potassium are soft metals. They can be cut with a knife. Metals have high melting and boiling point. But gallium and cesium are exception for this. They have low melting point and they can even melt in our hand. Lead and mercury are poor conductors of heat and electricity. Like that, though metals exist in solid state at room temperature, mercury is a liquid metal. Now, when we look at the physical properties of non-metals, they are just the opposite of properties of metals. Metal, non-metals have no luster. Non-metals are poor conductors of heat and electricity. Non-metals are brittle. Non-metals are not ductile. Non-metals are not malleable. They have low density and low melting point. But again, let us look at the exceptional cases here. Graphite is a good conductor of electricity. Diamond and graphite have high melting and boiling point. Iodine and diamond are lustrous. Even though non-metals generally exist as gases and solids, bromine is a liquid non-metal. 